The two rail sweep tool is probably the most powerful shape generation tool within ArtCam. It allows you to create reliefs that wouldn't be achievable using the shape editor. The way that it works is much like an extrusion. It basically extrudes a cross section between two curves. Here you can see I have a vector that looks closed, but in fact it has been cut making two curves along with a cross section, which is just a rectangle that has had the bottom removed. So what I'm going to do is extrude the rectangle through the two curves. The two rail sweep tool is located to the right of the shape editor, but it has a flyout menu along with some other tools, so it may be hidden. If it is, just hold your left mouse button down on the icon until the menu flies out and select the two rail sweep. For any really long dialogue boxes in ArtCam, obviously start at the top and work your way down. This asks you to, first of all, select the drive rails. And these are the two curves. So select the left hand one, set it as the first drive rail. This will then have arrows on the curve, denoting what direction it's traveling in. Do the same for the second drive rail, and it's important that they are going in the same direction, otherwise you will get a twisted relief. If you do need to reverse one of the vectors, it can be done by selecting the reverse icon next to the green tick. You will also notice that at the start, there will be an A and a B. In this example, the B is covering the A, in case you were wondering. If I next select the rectangle, with the bottom span removed, I can then add that as a cross section and the shape will be generated instantly. If I turn off the scale height and width, it will be the one height rather than being larger in height at the larger widths. Just like the shape editor, any of these vectors that I've selected can be edited to alter the shape of the two rail sweep. This tool becomes really powerful when adding more than one cross section. Here you can see I've created a couple more vectors and I'm using three cross sections. Note that they will be labeled one, two, and three, both on the cross section vectors and also on the drive rails, denoting where they are merging into that cross section. Each cross section can be modified. So here you can see the second one being modified and it is affecting the middle of the relief, but blending back either side into the original cross sections. If you want to move where it actually blends into the second cross section, you can do that by moving the white dots on the drive rails to where you would light them. At any time, the vectors can be modified to update the generated relief. You can also add a Z modulation profile in this case, I am using the single curve at the top of the model. This controls how the sweep looks in Z going across the relief. If you turn off vector controls exact height, you can modify the vector and it will alter the height of the relief as it goes along the drive rails. If needed, you can add a start height to create a flat prior to generating the shape of the relief. Again, choose the combine mode and then select apply. 